Hi friends, I hope you are pretty well. So in this video, I try to figure out how to make a PCB making CNC. You heard right, PCB making CNC. So PCB making CNC is like pretty much very easy. And over here, this is my PCB making CNC. And this CNC has 100 by 100 mm plot. That means you can print any kind of circuit, any kind of PCB, I mean, any kind of PCB between 100 by 100 mm. Even this CNC machine is very cheap within 1.5K. I hope this is a pretty big deal, right? And guys, if you want to make this kind of CNC for yourself, then keep watching this video till the end. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB and EZDA. And I have been using EZDA for the last 5 years to make my PCB. This is absolutely free. JLCPCB always try to do something different. That's how they came up with a new purple colored PCB that you can get at the same price. Similarly for your PCB, there are many more facilities like maximum 1 to 6 layer PCB option, PCB assemble and stencil. So without wasting any more time to upload your valuable PCB to the JLC PCB website and take advantage. Link is in the description box. And over here you can see all 3D printed part that I printed. Even there is also all equipment we need to make this PCB making printer, right? Okay guys, now let's make this CNC machine with this all part. And over here you can see for making this CNC, I am using here 28BYZ48 Unipolar motor, which you can buy at a very low price. Okay, now let's mount this. And guys, this is your valuable linear bearing through which your X and Y axis can travel very smoothly. And don't worry, this bearing cost only 80 rupees. And see here, my 6mm smooth shape is sliding very smooth like ice cream. And here you can see, I am going to use this GT2 belt here to push and pull the table of my Y axis. Which is quite accurate of this kind of CNC machine. With that you can see, my Y axis is completely complete. So this time I want to fit it on my top of my CNC table. You can see here, this is my all part for the X axis that i printed on my 3d printer okay now you can see this time i will insert this linear bearing into my x-axis body using my some body power next this x-axis shape like i did earlier and finally now you can see my x-axis body is sliding very smoothly you can see my x-axis body is complete now I want to assemble it with my main body. But before assemble it, we need to work on Z axis. Next, obviously we need a servo motor because in my CNC I use this servo motor as Z axis. I don't want to use a separate motor in it because just we need it to up and down my pen. So that is why I mount my servo motor 3D printed part in my X axis body with some nut and bolt. At last I attach my pin holder with my servo body with two smooth shape. As a result the pin holder will be up and down very smoothly with two shape, right? As you can see everything is done very funny. So now time for the electronics part. So that is why we need two ULN 2003 motor driver IC for each motor, even a pretty decent Arduino Nano. So here I connect everything with my CNC and for the first checking purpose I connect my USB cable to it and see my CNC response as my GRBL G code sender and that the signal is everything is working like charm. Ok guys, but here you can see my circuit is very messy and this is not good looking anymore, right? So that is why I designed a great PCB for it. And here you can see, this is my PCB design file. So definitely I ordered it on my lovely JLC PCB website. Spent some little money. And here you can see, this is my final physical PCB. So now time to put all component in it. 
In this case, you lost a lot of time because we need to assemble every component in it. And guys, one thing is remember, in this project, every files you can find in the description box as you always get. Okay guys, finally my CNC and electronics part is done very well. Now time to check this CNC for the first time. So that is why here I use 100 by 100 mm copper PCB board. Next I put a marker pen in my CNC and I start a PCB G code and see my CNC running very well as I expected. Okay guys, let's check out the end result. Told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave, had to find a way to change, had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down, myself. I know guys you have a lot of questions about this CNC machine because in this video I only showing you how to work this CNC machine right. So in the next video series I will show you how to generate Gabber file for your trusty PCB making software and how to generate G code for Gabber file even you can use PDF file and what kind of software I am using to generate G code. So guys keep watching the video for the next one. Even guys one thing is to remember CNC calibration is very tough and very tricky. So in the next video series i will show you how to calibrate your cnc one by one mm so guys in this video series i will show you everything so guys this is for today i hope you can learn something new from this video if you don't like this video then you can dislike it and if you like this video then you can subscribe my channel and see you in the next one I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race 